Skip, let's mm. start with you on this. Thank you. No, it's a first. I just what happened? We'd mix oh, it up. She, she threw me you a bone. Me I f yeah. Is Iggy right? Thank you for the floor. <laughs> I love Iggy. He's one of the few high IQ basketball players or players in any sport who can see it and also speak it because some with high IQ can see it, but they can't put it into words. He put this beautifully into words that needed to be said because Kevin Durant still doesn't get enough credit for what he is and what he is becoming. He's been the most talented scorer that I've ever seen since he was at the University of Texas. So I don't think that's overstated. He just said he's the most talented scorer. He didn't say he's the greatest scorer of all time, although I think he has a chance to prove ultimately that he is and was the greatest scorer of all time. But I started saying on national TV back in 07 when Kevin was a freshman at the University of Texas, averaging 26 and 11, I've never seen anything like this before. I'm pretty sure he's seven feet tall. I don't know why, but they list him at 6'9". I've he's stood next bad. to him. He's seven feet tall, and he's he has the length of an eight-footer because his mm -hmm. arms are really, yeah. really long for his height. You're not blocking that jump shot. The apex of that <laughs> shot, it is truly unblockable. So you take that kind of talent, and then you put it into a, a guy who, who actually has low ego. He, he's not a diva. He's not selfish. He can score efficiently. I've yeah. never seen anything like yeah. this before. Yeah. So okay. the, it, the the only – like inch for inch, he's the most talented shooter I've ever seen as far as being seven feet tall. Mm -hmm. And Dirk is in the conversation. Right. But Dirk doesn't have the deep, effortless sort of stroke that Kevin does. He can pull up maybe not from 50 and shoot a jump shot, but from 35. Yeah. But Dirk can't get to the rim like he can. No, Dirk he doesn't get... have the handles that no. KD has. Okay. KD was gonna put the ball on the floor. Dirk was gonna, you know, step, you know, pump, and then mm -hmm. you that 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 one that one foot step yep. back, which KD has added to his game now. Okay. So I've always said Michael Jeffrey Jordan was the greatest scorer ever because of his intangibles, the killer will, the assassin's mentality, where he's just saying, I'm gonna score it on you. Whether you, you you know you can cheap shop me, you can do whatever you want to, to. I'm going to get it on you whenever I need to. And the higher the stakes, the more I'm going to score on you. Well, Kevin has taken a beating on social media because he looks weak. He left Oklahoma City after Oklahoma City had a three to one lead right. over these same Golden State Warriors. Right. So he's not getting credit because it looked like he he gave up. He sort of quit on Oklahoma City and joined the Super well, Team. Well, Skip, I, I don't think I, I don't think social media. They're not saying Kevin isn't a great player because he is. They look at him as being weak in order for him to accomplish what he needed to accomplish. He had to go already join. His, I mean, this was Skip. This is the first time we've seen something like this. This was a Super Team because they had already won one title. They won seventy three games the year before he actually got there. So for him to go join a team that already had the reigning MVP who was a top five player in the league mm -hmm. currently. We don't normally see this. I mean, you can make a case in the early 80s that the Lakers had three of the top ten players with Worthy, Kareem, and Magic. You mm -hmm. can legitimately make yep. that case. But it's hard to make that case in any other time in history that we – let's say, go since 80, that we've seen a team have three, say, top ten – you know, three top ten, four top 20 guys like they have with Clay, Draymond, uh, Steph, and, uh, and KD. That doesn't normally happen. So they're not disrespecting his game. They're like, bro, all of a sudden you pounding your chest. You weren't pounding your chest when you was OKC, but you go link up with them. I think that's what kind of rubs people the wrong way. They know KD. If you know anything about basketball, you know KD is phenomenal. He's great. He's already a top. He, he, for me, it's going to be hard. It's hard for, to say he's not a top 15 player right now, given what he's accomplished what he accomplished going into the last two seasons, considering what he's accomplished coming out of the last two seasons, and he's still in his prime. So it's hard to say he's not top 15. But so when he walked in the door at Golden State, what did the two-time MVP, Steph Curry, immediately do? Yeah, you just got to go. You're, it's your team. I concede. Yeah. I defer. You take it. You make the big shots. You the, take the big shots. I, I think the thing is what makes him good, uh, make, makes KD, when he, uh, and, and, and he says talent, is because he's seven foot. Because we've seen guys score the basketball. Skip, Tracy McGrady was a walking bucket machine. Now, you talk about can score the ball. And, 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 I, and I think at the thing... At about 6'8". Yes. Go ahead. You know what I think it is, Skip? When we look at scores, most of them, we look at jump shooters. 
We look at guys that that shoot the ball from. We don't look at big guys, you know, shooting or uh, being efficient because you know big guys they getting dunks and layups. So, so when they shoot sixty five percent from the field or seventy percent from the field, they're not taking a shot outside five feet. Well, Kevin Durant is shooting thirty three foot three point shots. He's trying to you know shooting clocks at the end of the shot clock, end of the half, and he's still shooting fifty percent, uh, basically for his career. But it's just hard for me to put somebody as far as talent scoring the ball. Because mm-hmm. I did not, man, I watched, I've been a Tar Heel fan since 81. I did not see Michael Jordan being this, Skip. I don't think nobody saw this. Nobody saw him to get, but I mean. Well, what did they say? It's when, like Poppy, it's like Poppy. What did everybody say when he was at Carolina? The only man who can stop Michael Jordan is Dean Smith, the coach. He's only, he was stopping it, only right? man to hold him under 20 points. Yeah. Because, okay. but I mean, but. But K- KD is, is phenomenal. But like I say, you know, I don't, I don't want to talk about my guy because people say you, Shannon, you talk about him too much. But do they say that? Yeah, so you're a prisoner of Twitter. They, they say I, they, they they call you, no. You gave me the name. You should never have called me LaShannon. See what? Don't, don't look at Jenny. Jenny didn't, didn't do, do it. You did it. I didn't do, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You yeah. did start well, calling me that. Talk about I just came out of nowhere. It came out of your head. It's a gift from God. <laughs> <laughs> it came out of your mouth. You. Yeah. You started that foolish, yeah. foolishness, and people actually see me walking the street, uh-huh. and LeShannon. they call me, yeah. LeShannon. They call me yeah. Uncle LaShannon. No, no, yeah. Thanks yeah. to you. I appreciate that. Yeah, good. But you know, Skip. You deserve it. Skip. I mean, LeBron does have a high scoring average. Mm-hmm. He shoots high percentage from the field. Hmm. Got more assists, more rebounds. So, thank you for bringing that up, because I ask you, what happened in the last two game threes of the NBA Finals? Both played in the Kings' house in Cleveland, Ohio. What happened in those two games? Turning point games. KD, Make or break. It's going to go one way or the other KD in these played, games. Played, KD played unbelievable. But if you, don't, if, if you don't mind me asking, can you tell them what the record was before KD went and linked up with Steph, Clay, mm-hmm. and Draymond? What, what record like 18 was? And five. LeBron was 18-5 and five against mm-hmm. KD. LeBron owned him for a long time. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Kevin grew up, and he became well, big yeah. brother to little brother. Well, if you go, well, if and you go, it go started get... two years ago in that game three, in which Kevin scored 31 points, and Cleveland actually had a two-point lead with 46 seconds left in that game. That's in the King's house, and here came Kevin dribbling the ball up court. Could we please see that shot? Because this yeah, is we a, already saw the hezzy. This, this is the hezzy pull up that, that Iggy's talking about. <laughs> Boom. That's deep, man. And it was right in LeBron's face. LeBron said, this is what I've done. Uh-huh. I've been beating KD down, uh-huh. beating him down. Then he go get three of his homeboys, and he show back up. Mm-hmm. And the people wonder why I can't beat him. Who was I- the MVP? KD. Kevin Durant. And then what happened this past finals? Again, you still got a chance. I know you're down two to nothing. You should have been one to one if LeBron had melted down. No, the if they all hadn't melted down. Okay, they all melted down. But the point is, game three again. Highest stakes. And Kevin Durant goes for 43. He hits six out of nine threes. What did LeBron do? Whew. And by LeBron the way, the Cavs had a one-point lead with 933 left in that game. Skip. That's the king in his house. You got to close what? the deal. Close the deal. What? Hold on. A one-point lead with yeah. nine minutes. Yeah, come on. If, if you're that guy, if you're the greatest player ever, if you're better than Michael Jordan, you just close the deal. And he didn't because Kevin closed another deal and won a second straight finals MVP. And I got to tell you, I'm the biggest Jordan fan you'll find, but Kevin has a chance to eclipse Michael Jordan. As what? He's the greatest scorer ever. Well, the, actually, the greatest scorer ever is actually Kareem. Now, oh, okay. and, and eventually. Eclipse all of them. I, I say it's whoa, Michael. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Kareem. I'm, I'm not doing statistics. I'm just oh, doing oh, it in my okay. mind's eye. Oh. Who's the greatest scorer ever? Because you know well, what? this guy's, man, those are two big moments where he just took games off. Because you know at, Jordan when it's all said and done, who will be the all-time lead scorer in NBA history, right? Well, just because he played the most minutes. Well, let's see. There you go, Skip. Oh, that's unnecessary. Played the most games. So, so, so let me get That just equates to you're the most durable superstar ever. I got to knock on wood for LeBron's sake because he has been. Yeah. Durability is not what's putting the ball in the basket. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. He's going to score. He's 6'9", 280. You keep adding. Wait, wait. <laughs> I do. He's you, 270, 280. You, you, he, looks, oh, he looks like he's... No, you told right me thin. You, game, you told me he, thin. He thinned out after the year. because wonder what happened. What you 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, he got me. off that vibranium. No, I don't you, know what you don't skip. See, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're trying he to do. He got off it. You tried to imply. I didn't imply. Yeah, you, you told me he was on vibranium. LeBron is just yeah. fine. Don't worry about him. Yeah. We got, we're in the lab as we speak. He came bet, right out to I L.A. Bet, and he was eating salads, I, right? You know what? Old I bet salad. you if I were to go on his site, I bet you done posted something. He had to working mm. out right. Bet you working out. Mm. Okay, let's see. Mm. I like how you go, I don't know. But you know. I know you know. He ain't posted nothing yet. No. Oh, oh there it's not right. working out. So, speaking of LeBron James, this is why, off Iggy's quote, that I keep trying to explain to you that the more valuable player right now, the nuclear weapon, the unstoppable weapon, is Kevin Durant. He's just a better, he's a more valuable player now than LeBron James ask, is at this stage and age. Let me ask you a question, Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. If you were to swap, let's say just mm -hmm. for the sake of argument, yep. just appease me in this. If we were to swap Kevin Durant and LeBron James the last two years, mm -hmm. are the outcomes any different? I don't know. Been interesting. Skip Bayless, are you yeah. going to sit right here and tell me right now, LeBron James, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond would lose to Kevin Durant-led Cavaliers? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? Could LeBron have blended in to that? Yes! What goes on in Golden State? I don't know. LeBron's got a lot of diva in him. Whew, I just don't know. I don't know if the chemistry would have been the same. Kevin can do it so efficiently. That was Iggy's point. He, he does it on low shots. He's unselfish. I know LeBron can play unselfishly, but in the end, he needs the ball and he needs to score. He don't need the ball. Oh, can, yeah. you, can you imagine what would happen if Steph and Clay had Bron running the point? Mm. 500 threes for Steph, 400 for Clay. Yeah, and LeBron be saying, I got to get me some of that. LeBron, huh? LeBron, Le he's got to be the center yeah, of LeBron, attention. LeBron. And Kevin doesn't have to be. That's why he's underappreciated because some nights it's like, you got a hot hand, you shoot it. That's what, that's what Le LeBron going to find the hot no, hand. No, he's not. What is the thing where well, Cleveland, he couldn't because yep. ain't nobody had a hot hand. You remember? Who's you gonna, watch Cleveland. Who's going to be the greatest scorer in NBA history? Who's going to have the most points? LeBron James. Yeah. Because in the end, he's going to stuff that stat sheet. Skip, he can't Gotta help it. Got to have ball in Skip, hand. Skip, he can't help it, Skip. Yeah. Okay. A blue whale can't help that it's 40,000 pounds. Hmm. He can't help it, Skip. That's just what happens. So, just for the record, this past postseason, what? defensive win shares, oh, individual. Kevin Durant was seventh in all the playoffs. That's that's pretty Is great. that what cost the Cavaliers, huh, LeBron? Wait a second. And LeBron was 67th? Seventh to 67th. So, Kevin's bringing a big, glaring new element to Golden State. He rim protects. He was seventh in the league in blocks. And, and all the other guys are centers. They all play the five. The, and Kevin, Kevin Durant is taller than all of them. Well, he can play five when he feels like it, when he's, when he's needed. If you don't mind me asking, Skip, like I said, I got, got five new huh? followers. They want to know. They ask me to ask you. Just you just got five new? Yeah. They asked me to ask you who's uh, number one in offense efficiency. Huh. I don't think they ask you. They, ask me. they, they, they just asked me. That came from LaShannon. No, the season, uh, they, they, there you <laughs> go. They, I'm just asking. Okay, for me, can you? Uh, who, who's number one in efficiency? Because he needs the ball in his hand. I just, who, yeah. who's number one in usage? Huh. Should play off. Usage rate? Well, you're making my case now. It's LeBron. Hold on. Huh. Kevin what? doesn't need the ball. I just told whoa, you that. Whoa, 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 whoa. But you told you Most told talented no, no. score ever you is told Kevin me, Durant. But when we're going against LeBron and Jordan, you said LeBron, I mean, uh, Jordan led the league in playoffs in usage like eight times. Now yeah. you're using it as a, uh, as a, as a check mark, a black we're, mark against we're, LeBron. We're doing KD versus LeBron, not Michael versus LeBron. I mean, we, they, 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 there's no. But Michael KD. was the greatest score ever. I already said that. There, there's, there's no. There's no. Huh? KD versus LeBron.